Hey guys, this is the second video of inverse reinforcement learning and in this video I'm going to tell you about one of the most popular algorithms in IRL that is maximum entropy inverse reinforcement learning that was published by Seedbot, Mars, ETL when they were in Carnegie Mellon in 2008. So one of the main attraction of this paper is when we have multiple policies which can be optimal for the reward functions that could lead to the same feature counts in IRL or feature matching that we had observed in the previous video as well. So this this video tackled that pro this approach tackled this problem using the principle of maximum entropy. So we can resolve the ambiguity to which policy should be picked between those who has the exact feature count. So the objective is to maximize the log likelihood over the demonstrations, which I will explain in the previous, uh, sorry, in the next slide, how we got over there of the expert collected data. And one of the most important assumptions of this paper is the reward of trajectories is expressed as a linear combination of the feature count. So reward of the trajectory is theta transpose f of tau, where theta is the reward parameters and f of tau is the feature of the trajectory so it just it just reward is just a linear function of features of the trajectory so the constraint like we can solve this problem by optimization where the constraint is the probability of the trajectory selection of the trajectory and the feature count of that trajectory and the sum of all the trajectories should be equal to the feature count of the expert demonstrations and which is quite explaining itself for feature matching and I think we had covered this in the first video itself so I'm, I'm not gonna dig into it so and yeah and this the, i have taken some clips from my own notes so i'm gonna use it over the slides again and again and to and the second thing is like we have to maximize the log likelihood as discussed before so we have to maximize the probabilistic distribution of trajectories And we can solve this by using the Lagrangian multiplier. So I'm I'm now gonna dig into some maths to actually show you how these equations are obtained by using those constraints and the objective over there. So the first the first constraint was we have to maximize the entropy that is law of the trajectory selections and we have to also oh, see that the probability for trajectory into the feature of trajectory minus the expert demonstrations so here i have taken the constraint from the previous one and we are going to use lagrangian multiplier so let's take the derivative of this and let's say multiply it with a Lagrangian constant and minus mu of summation of probability of tau minus 1 equals to 0. So if you don't know how solving this optimization problem work I can put a link into the description so you can know more how this equation is got obtained but I cannot go beyond it. So once we take it, we have the derivative with respect to peaks to solve this optimization problem where this is a Lagrangian constant. So once we take the derivative, so the first term will be here I will substitute probability of tau as p just to write it shorter and faster. That's it. So p of tau will go. In the next thing, log of p of tau will be 1 of p of tau into 1 so 
one of your dome, one of your dome, it's gonna cut, so it's just gonna be one. And over here, it's just gonna be p of dot is gonna go, and it will be just feature of those trajectory, and this will be zero, and minus p minus mu, and this will be one. So as you can see, over here the mu and one is constant, so why don't we just instead of taking two constant, let's substitute as that one constant. And let's take the summation and minus sign outside. So once we do that, this is sum of all the trajectories. This is log p plus features of the trajectory minus oh no it's plus okay. and it will be equal to zero and once you solve this so probability of tau will be equal to one minus lambda zero minus sorry it should be lambda one yeah it should be lambda so lambda into f of tau so i will just erase all this equation but just remember once we solve this we we have the equations of probability like this. So I'm gonna write them. Yeah. So to solve to get the value of lambda zero and lambda, and let's say the sum of all the trajectories of p of tau should be equal to zero. Sure. Sorry should be equal to 1 that's my mistake so once you sum over all the trajectories equal to 1 and I think this is gonna be constant because only the f of t is f of tau is dependent on tau so it will be constant for every tau and we can just take it out and divide so we get when we take it out it reduces to the form of this <laughs> I'm so sorry so for so this is what is called as a partition function where we get the value of lambda 0 and we substitute as it as 1 by z so in so if you see 1 by minus lambda 0 is log of 1 by z and we say lambda 0 is log of z where z is summation of tau e raised to minus lambda f of tau okay so we have got over here the partition function and once you put that and once you also get the by substituting the previous equations once you get this lambda value you will get the equation in the form that is described in the paper that is summation of tau e raised to theta transpose f into theta transpose f this is what we get uh, and this is the same equation as the paper so I just explain how they got the equation where we are focusing on the why we should maximize the uh, entropy for the distribution so let's move on to the next slide yeah so here comes the principle of maximum entropy where we want that the probability of demonstrated trajectories should be exponential to the reward of those trajectory. So that I'm so sorry, I don't know why it is happening. So the probability of trajectory should be exponential to the reward that we have just derived. So the probability of trajectory we got was one by z e raised to theta transpose of f of tau for the trajectory and we can see the reward of tau as we had discussed this in the previous slides is the linear functions of features and 
this is what exactly that means that probability is proportional to the exponential of reward of those trajectories and also the objective is to maximize the log likelihood of the demonstrated trajectories which we also discussed in the previous slide so here yeah, we want to maximize the log likelihood of the trajectories of human did human experts so this is the trajectory created by expert data and we want a policy that mag that maximizes we want a policy that maximizes the log likelihood of the expert data and also does the feature matching so yeah i think so we are going to solve for the value of data now but we we're going to solve this in the next video as i think this video got too long and we're going to go through all the maths so you don't worry thank you for watching this video